arpe this arpeggio lick in the key of A, just using arpeggios across the neck, um, using the dominant seven, but instead of like we've been doing in previous videos, instead of just going up and down the arpeggio, which you know you need to learn, that's good. Um, it's good to bring them across the neck, so it's more of a you know a natural flow, like a lead guitar, like a lick across the neck. So let's look at. <laughs> This lick, which takes you right across the whole neck and through all the positions of the arpeggio. So I'm going to go through it slowly and just shout out where I am, what position. So we're going to start off with, remember caged, C-A-G-A-D. Um, so whatever letter we, we start on, for this example, in, in the key of A, we're starting on the G shape. So the next one is the E and then the D, etc. and so on. Hopefully you know your alphabet. So let's start with this G shape, G arpeggio. So that's the top part of the G, or the bottom part of the G arpeggio. That is root, root, third, fifth, flat seven. In that order. Let's, then the next shape we're gonna slide into this shape, which is our E shape. So we've done the G. After the G, it's the E. Let's look at some of the notes that it shares. The only note it doesn't share is this five here. The top of the G, bottom of the G, is the same as the bottom of the E. And the flat seven is the same in both as well. We're just using different fingers when we're on the G. So when we get to that flat seven, instead of going back down the arpeggio, Going to move into the next spot. I'm going to do the same notes in the same order down the next arpeggio. So we come up from that flat seven on the D, same finger, we're going to hit the root of this shape. So root, and then again third, down this, down this triad, fifth, Flat seven there, B string, eighth fret. Moving up to our root, 10th fret on the B. Then we're gonna change things up a little bit. We're gonna do this. We're gonna mess around with some of the arpeggios up here, add a couple of notes in do things in a different order. So when I get to here, we're in the D shape. So we've done the E, we've come out of the E, and we've slid into the root here, which is straight out of our D shape. D major, D7, and it's the bottom of our C shape, which is the next shape in the sequence. We've got um, G, E, D, then back to C. And then the next one after that is our A. And then we're back to square one, G. When we get to this root on the B string, we can get our first finger, which is naturally here at the eighth fret, and we grab the high E and slide up one note and that puts us into our major third. Yeah. So our third, so we've had root, major third, straight out of this shape, that's straight out of our D shape, major third, back to our root. For for anyone that's only up to that hasn't checked out this C shape. I've got other videos, I'm not up to it. Just leave it there and practice there. Just practice up to that point. So our next move into the C shape. Major third, then root on the B. So we're coming down. We're gonna come down that shape. You gotta know this chord there. 
dominant seven, the C shape. Now the top of this G shape, bottom of this G shape, starting off the root. The C shape is exactly the same how it starts off this, of the A string, A here. Nothing new to learn there apart from we're just starting on the A string. It's just the top of it changes. So now we know where our root is, it's 10th fret of the B, so we're just going to stretch over with this mid with our middle finger. And we have that shape root third that we slid into. Fifth. The fifth is the E on the high E string. So it's the same as the top as this. It's the same as the top of our E shape. And our A shape. So nothing new to learn with this arpeggio. Once you've done a bit of the foundation work for, for these shapes, you can basically put this together with information you already know. All that's exactly the same. So we're coming all the way down the arpeggio. We know that bit and then root, one, three, five. there on the high E. There's your flat seven. Always the same order, root, third, fifth, flat seven, root, third, fifth, flat seven, flat seven, the fuck? And our A note there, and if you wanna go right up, we've got our major third right up here on, on I don't know the number up there. Probably the first time I've played it. Okay. Let's get to this back to C shape. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off or play the flat seven, so it's pinky on the 12th fret, G string. And then also on the G string, we're gonna play the ninth fret with our first finger. Add in another no out of the scale we're going to add in the fourth which is not to go into too much theory but it's the 12th fret on the d string that's what we're going to add in and then straight after that we're going to slide into the major third on the same string which is directly next to it and we're going to slide in with our middle finger There's our major third for A. And then you've got a root, obviously A string 12th fret to finish it off, but we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna grab the root with our first finger, back on this root down here on the B string on the 10th. And then what we're going to do off that root, keep your finger glued there with your first finger. Um, if you look back at the video before this, I put up a major pentatonic run. So we, we can do that straight off this root. First finger. Major pentatonic right up. First finger on the root there, 10th fret. Then 12th fret with our third finger. B string, slide into the major third, 14th, then 12th fret high E, 14th fret high E, then root, so we can top it off with that little run. Right there, I'm 
playing out of the A shape. <laughs> That there is exactly the same as there's your flat seven. If I if I did that bend here, it's just an octave higher. Good stuff. Have a play around with that. Let me know how you get on. Cheers.